Hello and thanks for staying with us on your channel of choice, Africa Independent Television AIT. Let me welcome you to the signature show. As always, my name is Mwabuazen Joko. Well, for five days penultimate week and into early last week, bandits in Zamfara State took over the affairs of Shinkafi, Morika, Karanamoda local government areas of that state. They were in charge. And to stamp the authority on those local government areas and to demonstrate that they were the government in place, they closed the artery road linking to those three local governments. And do you know their grouse? That the government in the state capitals, Guzao, had the temerity to close the cattle market in Shekafe, where they, the bandits, sell rustled animals to buy arms and keep themselves up as kings of the Zamfara space. For six people who dare to respect the Zamfara state government and traveled on that road, they paid with their lives. And many more lost their freedom as they are now looking for ransom to pay the real men in government. Does it require the media to ask why Nigerian security operatives kill innocent and unarmed citizens, why bandits scare them stiff and take charge of whole highways for five days and bring the economy of Zamfara State almost on its knees, the governance of bandits. You are watching the signature show on AIT. When the issues matter and the need to know matters. The chief of staff of Nigeria couldn't go to his village because it was being occupied by Boko Haram. Politicians and political parties have massively used money to buy votes and to change the course of electoral direction. You also remember the very APC itself set up a Rufai committee recommending something doesn't mean anything. Go back to federalism. Or the fun and the fair to relieve everyday care. Life is a riddle, my son. The land bled when Uvuranwe was put in shackles. Everyone wept when Saruwiwa was laid to rest. Everything comes with the Josh Tufoni. Everything comes with who I am. The Signature Show, your show that matters. On AIT every Sunday at 2 p.m. Let's also recognize a fundamental move by the federal government to make a set of Nigerians feel included in the affairs of the Nigerian nation. Last week, at an event to mark the World Day for Persons with Disabilities, Vice President Professor Yemi Oshimbajo made a fundamental pronouncement that the federal government has mandated ministries, departments, and agencies across government, government across in the country to reserve 5% of their workforce for persons with disabilities. Correspondent Chi Wezobi brings us this story that could be the face of a more humane Buhari administration. For many in Nigeria's family of those with challenges of disability, this year's World Day for Persons with Disabilities brought tidings of both joy and great expectations for the future. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo, who was represented by George Akume, Minister of Special Duties, at the event marking the day, said the federal government has mandated its ministries, departments and agencies to reserve 5% of their workforce for persons with disabilities who must be mainstreamed into Nigeria's labor force. I am glad to announce to you that the government at the center has made it mandatory for the provision of 5% employment opportunity for persons with disabilities spread across, spread across the 36 states of the Federation. To make communication easy and seamless for these Nigerian citizens, and to enable them to release their potentials for national development. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development 
has facilitated the development of sign language dictionary to increase education of those with disabilities and ease communication in both workplace and in the larger social setting. Today, we gather here to launch yet additional achievements of this newly established institution. And this includes a formal launching of the Nigeria Sign Language Dictionary first edition, producing a national sign language dictionary provides a harmonized and consistent understanding of signs for persons with disabilities, especially the deaf in Nigeria. More good news came at the event for Nigerians with physical challenges. Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Disabilities and Special Needs, Miriam Ono, has said, the federal government has mandated airlines and airport operators to establish disability decks at all airports to ease travel process for persons with disabilities. The airports have been mandated to uh, set up disability desks to make travel smoother and easier. Speaking exclusively to Signature Show, the Chief Responsibility Officer at the Center for Rehabilitation and Employment Care Dr. Chike Okobu said the center has facilitated the procurement of some stair wheelchairs to ease the movement of persons with disabilities into the aircraft. It was not the fault of the airlines to discriminate against persons with disabilities. The gaps were there, as said by the MD of FAN. And with this input now, we're closing the gap. Today, we have a disability desk at the Abuja airport, and this is going to, FAN has agreed to escalate it and take it, spread it around the country. They have promised that um, about 20 or 25 more chairs are coming. The National Disability Summit, which was part of the celebration of the World Disability Day, also featured the launch of the National Commission for Persons with Disabilities website, five years National Disability Strategic Plan, and a National Disability Insurance Scheme. In Abuja, I am Chibwe Zobi for Signature Show. You will come back now on the 29th of October 2021. Family, friends, relations, and well wishers came together in Ohia, a community in Umwahia, Abia State, to usher in a woman, a mother, a guardian, and a role model for many to a new life in the life after. Let's give you a snippet of the event. On the 29th of October, 2021, family, friends, relations, and well-wishers came together in Ohia, a community in Omaha, Abia State, to usher in a woman, a mother, a guardian, and a role model for many to a new life in the hereafter. It was the day 82 years old Madam Rosalind Adama Wokonta, mother of eight and grandmother of many more, was sent off to celestial existence in what was a celebration of life. Sister was an industrious woman, a hard working woman. She hates laziness. She worked so hard from the time she started up until 2007 when her health started to fail her. Then what about her Christian life? She started got baptized in the year 1959. If you count from 1959 to this time, so she has served Jehovah for more than 50 years. So the 82 years of her life, she spent over 50 years, almost 60 years, yes, 60 something years rather, in serving Jehovah God. To the children of Madam Rosalind Adama Nwokonta, son-in-law and grandchildren, she ran the good race, played her part as a mother, and can only receive a diadem worthy of the life she lived. My mom is a great one, a disciplinarian. 
In short, he brought us in the religious way. You know, my mother, if, if they have to count many mothers in the whole world, I know everyone will say my mother is the first. I will tell them that my mother is the best, not the first. She's a hardworking woman. And she doesn't fail uh, to tell you when she was alive the truth. She will tell you how she sees it. She will not, uh, she, she might not mean, you know, to hurt you, but uh, she will tell you how it is. But she's uh, very, very industrious. She's loving. And uh, she was a great woman. She was a great woman. I, I, I really miss her. She was a very hardworking woman, very assertive, very compassionate, and very humble. And she has tried to to make sure that we go by that way and all of us, we have followed her way and we are all, from what you can see today, this, the, the barrier was descent by class. She was a woman who knew what she wanted. She didn't suffer fools uh, gladly. You know, she says it the way it is. If she's your friend, you know she's your friend. If she's happy with you, she, you know she's happy with you. If she's angry with you, you know she's angry with you. She was one straightforward, hard-working woman. When you hear that a woman is a helper to the husband, she was a helper. If you hear that a woman was the strength behind a husband, she was one. If you heard that this was a mother who stood by her children, she was one. She was a very nice and caring person. She cared about all of us. She was very religious. She loved praying all the time. She was close to all of us in many ways. She was very strong, hardworking, no nonsense, lovable. Let's wish Madame Rosalind Adama Wokonta a bliss that never ends in heavenly place. You are watching the signature show on AIT. Next, it's a special interview, which today focuses on the crisis in the Enugu State chapter of the All Progressives Congress APC. Please, stay with us. Now this afternoon, let me be very clear so that I don't make mistakes. I have Dr. Ben Woye. I am going to introduce Dr. Ben Woye as the chairman APC Enugu State. I will interrogate that designation. He's also, for fact, secretary of APC State Chairman uh, Chairman's Forum. Dr. Woye, you're welcome to the conversation. Thank you very much for having me. And I also have a friend of mine, uh, except that he's a little much younger. Uh, very soon I'll ask him when we join our club of old people. Also, Joe Manuel, former chairman, Ezago Local Government Area, former commissioner for culture and tourism in a new state, APC candidate, federal the House of Representatives in the 2019 election. Also, you're welcome to the conversation. Thank you very much. Also, I introduced you last. Let me begin with you, really. I introduced Dr. Moye as chairman of APC in new state. Is he the chairman of APC Enugu State? Yes, uh, Dr. Ben Woye is the chairman of APC, elected chairman of APC, and later on he became the appointed uh, chairman for the caretaker committee of APC. And he remains so unless and until the people who appointed him removes him. If Ben has selected city wars to be the crisis wars, then we and can then organize. organize an election. Then this won't be it. But not to do it holistically, that everybody should come back. Including even in my this world, my own world, he is even quoting. He returned my own world, chairman, as against the wishes of the people. So I, it, it, it became something rebellious to us. For you? Yes. As in my, yes, because politics, like he always tells us, is local. It starts from you to outsiders. You must have to first define your own politics, get it settled before you start moving outside. Because you cannot be having fire in your building and you'll be thinking about how to quench another fire outside. So from there now, 
if that foundation has been well done, we won't have this crisis. So from that particular time, the crisis started happening. People now started thinking, Ben has inaugurated a new set of executives. For me, he now touched on my essence in my own world. So the right thing for me to do is to not to agree with Ben. You know, so if I see anything on the other side that is adverse to him, I will support it. Because I want my... Yes, yes, that's politics. In every, it is, it is, it is, it is self-preservation. So for me to preserve myself, because he has touched on my, my own particular... You also have to stir the waters for him. Yes. Okay. So, gentlemen, yes. let us start calming the sea. Political violence, political storm cannot make for winning an election. Because if APC, you see my introduction, I said that the bug of internal crisis is also biting hard at APC. The energy situation, are you people taking steps to resolve it in such a way that the party can be whole and intact and in one direction forward to 2023, that way? Absolutely. That's, that's obviously why two of us we are. <laughs> that's why I asked you. It's my friend, two factions, but we, we, we are not factions. Okay. The, the, two, the, two, the, the two people looking at the same thing from different directions. Okay. We are, we are together. The worst thing happened to Inugu State in particular. We had minor disagreement at, like he stated, at a world level and perhaps also at the, lo the local government yeah. But then it was happened when it was now time for states, for states, yes. <coughs> Congress. State Congress was put together, put up together. They inaugurated the people, the same people, virtually the same persons who did the world and local government to come down to the state. Apparently, leaders came together there were consensus using this time again. There was some type of call, but we agreed. It is zoned. Chairmanship is zoned to west. Enugu State has north, east, and, and west senatorial districts. Based on what operated in 2014, when we started, we zoned governorship to Enugu North. Chairman to Enugu East, a national position, national officer position, whatever, to Enugu West. And we agreed that it's going to be clockwise rotation at the end of the term. So we rezoned it again following our previous agreement to Enugu West. That, that is chairmanship. Chairmanship. To Enugu West. Yes. That he and I can agree. Because we are not a part of also, also, can you confirm that? That Absolutely. there was a zoning agreement. Absolutely. And I, what happened to be, apart from what he's saying, we had a, a nine man committee of the states, APC state, to look into the zoning. And I happened to be a member of that nine man committee. In other words, there was a committee that oversaw the zoning and there was an agreement yes. on the zoning. But there was an absolute can, agreement can, to the can, zoning according to what? Absolutely. So there's no dispute on that. Mm. Non zoned to any West. And in Enugu West, we have five local governments. Izago, Udi, Aniri, Ogo, Oji River. And in that division, we have two federal constituencies. The Udi Izago constituency. They will have the Aniri, Ogo, Oji River federal constituency. The Udi Izago constituency is heavily populated aside by people with appointment, national appointment. And aside from that, just finished serving, Chief Honorable Menuhu was the person who was appointed National I National see. Welfare Secretary when this party was first formed. He's from Udi. He also, in 2014, was elected okay. as the National Vice Chairman, Southeast. He served for four years. He was re elected in 2018. As national vice chairman, South was a member of the crisis reading Adams Oshomole National Working Committee. 
that was dissolved. That was dissolved specifically because of Christ. It's from Moody. So, the Enugu West Centurion District gathered, which is from, they gathered together the leaders and agreed holistically. Agreed to the uh, agreement of other people from the rest of the zone that the chairmanship should go to the area called the Greater Ogo. The Greater Ogo constituency is Ogo, Aniri, Izago, Federal One more time, they also agree as several people running for the position. Within them, the leaders there agree on the person they want to produce so that the whole state can accept as a consensus. A consensus. consensus. They agreed to produce a consensus candidate and named their consensus candidate. Some people even stepped down publicly for the consensus candidate to proceed. You might. might have one or two persons who have not naturally, formed, naturally. Yeah, from the same greater hour. Why that was being worked on? Then someone. Please. Who for Moody? Who is not a member of the party? But indicated interest of joining the party sometime in July 27, 2021, 20, long after the registration had completed. He came out from nowhere and said he's running for chairmanship of the party. With that person's introduction, two others who could have ordinarily stepped down. Sprang up. No, they remain to protect their own interests. Interest. Then the worst thing happened on the day of Congress. The state Congress. The state Congress. Because of that, they're supposed to come in to where had agreed, been agreed on them. This might influence somehow, they were able to influence the people's the chairman and the committee sent from uh, Abuja. And they went to a drinking parlor. And in that drinking parlor, with thugs and non party members, they rushed in there, prevented other party members from coming in there, beat up some others. And the man who was paid to do the dirty job with his cohort, shamelessly, shamelessly, in broad daylight, but we have videos. Elect accordingly. I pronounce one man who is non member of APC as the chairman of APC. No, you, you, you've made very strong uh, statements here. I do not want to call them allegations yet because we're not, we're not in the court of law. Also, he says a non party member who had indicated interest, not even a registered member of the party, sprang a surprise on all of you. And before you knew it, you have been pronounced the chairman of the party. Just educate me very quickly. What I'm telling you is that the man here talking, before we had the crisis of whether Ben was removed or not removed, there was no crisis during the, during the registration and revalidation. He was the chairman of the party, not... So he did the registration. He did the registration. So he has every authority. And he knows who, registered who he registered. Registered. Yeah, because the reg party registered up till now is within his own personal custody. Because he asked every person to return this because the registration process has closed. With, there was a date for closure of registration and same with the revalidation of voters. Closed and all registration materials to that effect was instructed to be returned back to the secretariat. No problem then about Ben. Ben was absolutely the chairman of the party. So he has every authority to state today who I registered and who I did not register. Because he, he was the man in authority and the man who has absolute custody of the registration materials that he gave out the people who did the registration and that was the same people he instructed return back my materials back uh, after the process back to me ben who wait, just uh, Dr. you are going to, you are going to expatiate i know that but i am interested in finding out how this interloper became a genuine candidate right under your nose
The unfortunate thing is that when you started up, you talked about this APC crisis. Is this something peculiar or just like other? And if that's the case, that we have the political elite to the blame. The blame lies on the footsteps of the political elite. From those who appointed the individual who came to do the Congress. So when you appoint characters that can do anything that they want to do, number one, they're supposed to be under our guideline and constitution. The Congress guideline calls for screening. On the screening, that's gatekeeping. They didn't follow the calendar. They didn't inaugurate screening committee. It's supposed to be done. And it's supposed to be done like a judge. Where I am blind. A day before the Congress, against our party constitution and guidelines, the same man who is going to be the who is the Congress committee chairman, having been compromised, took on the judgment seat for screening and screened a non-member. Now, the good news for the interests of those who are pursuing justice is that the document with which he used to be screened was not our registration document. It was document obtained from somewhere, whatever, bearing a piece of paper, bearing inscription of it. And the man, Arojobu, Dr. Arojobu, number one, ought not to have screened him. Number two, if Dr. Arojobu had worked with me, who is the custodian of record, mm -hmm. I would have told him that this man, this man his name is not here, he's not a member, and this paper is fake. But Dr. Arojobu, unfortunately, was compromised. These are hard words. These are hard. Was he was he compromised because someone the, the, had convinced him the, 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 that yeah. the man was a genuine person? No, you you I, you, you I, might, I'm sorry, you, don't intend to. No, no, no. Don't, you, don't, don't see it as a hard word because the the action of what Dr. Rodrigo did is beyond a hard word because we can see it's the ripples of his action that we all see today. Now that same uh, 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 constitution of our party say that it is the state executive council of the party that will midwife the new executive. The national working committee of the party can only do regulations. They are not supposed to conduct elections for the, party, for the state parties. They are supposed to make regulations for the conduct. Whether it's going to be by direct primaries or things like that, it's their regulation. But to midwife the process is going to be done by the state executive council. They midwife the electoral process of their successors. That is what the party says. So what a man. So the problem is that this Dr. Arojiogo has Arojiobu has a name or names to return. That's what he's saying. Just one name. One name. And he did not do any other thing than just to pronounce a name. Yeah, as this, this person that is this not person is, without an election, without without even a delegate list. Because if he said that was contention, mind you, we have said that we have. Let me tell you something. On the night of that, before the Congress, the consensus candidate was brought to Dr. Arodiobu. And he issued, a, he screened him and issued him with the forms to fail. In my own process. So, no, but so what, following the, the following day, what we were asking, what we wanted to do was a ratification, not an election. And we have a venue to do the ratification, only for people to find out that they've moved everything to a beer parlor, like he said. Maybe to have a good drink. Maybe to have a good drink, my dear. And now there, they now started discussing about uh, 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 party. No, they were issuing clearance to people to at all to talk. Are you who, who are you issuing clearance to when there was no uh, delegate list for the election because it was supposed to be a ratification of the list that has already been done. They not, they not, uh, Senatorial District have done theirs and produced their list. The East have done theirs and produced their list. The West, where I come from, we've done theirs and we have produced our list. 
So why, why, why the contention with our own list? Why they are working with the other list? So it's, it's everything is the list we have all agreed. It's an agreement. So what we are saying is that we don't even know the person of Ugo Abala being in contention because he is not a member of your party. He's not a member of your party. It's just a, it's very absolutely ridiculous. It's just something it's, it's something you cannot comprehend. Okay, let us so, see, let us see where this bird in flight is going to land. That word, that, that word. Somebody has pronounced him Chiam. It is creating a problem. It's creating what I said is the bug of particular parties of Nigeria. Is there a solution? There's a solution. Like you rightfully said, the conduct of a Congress is the duty of the state escort. Yeah. So I presided over the conduct of the Congress. And the chairman was elected, the person of Comrade SU Day. So he is pronounced to be the, the chairman by Arojubu. Comrade SU Day is elected by the There is the Peace Committee, Reconciliation Committee. Then we also have group captain who majority of the party leadership as a group captain OG had said he's going in a consensus. This is a perfect game. Man. In other words, sir, in other words, there are three people now floating, wait, waiting for endorsement if that's a peace process. If, uh, if I'm to talk about that, there are two, like he said, Wonye had a, um, his own election. But we on on the other side have agreed not on the consensus because that is the agreement. Yes, I understand. We that. started with the word local that. Yes. Then there is this other person. Then this there, 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 there's the imposter. That's the imposter. Call him the imposter. This other one, ACUD is a member of the party. And he, he is from Enugu West. Is from Enugu West. And not only is he from Enugu West, he's equally also from Greater Ogo. Group Captain Oji is a member, a bona fide member of the party. He is from Enugu West and he's equally from Greater Ogo. So in the arrangement of the party in Enugu State, both of them are qualified by virtue of the fact they that the zoning, that. they are coming from the zone. Okay, but but there yes. are two of them. Yes. And then there is this other interlocutor. The, the, yes, there are two I, people. I'm, I'm looking at yes. how you resolve this. Because we, we in the media cannot be accused. The way we can resolve we, the way we can we resolve it is that we come from the known before we go to the unknown. The two knowns of the party, the two knowns today, if you do it, that is who are the registered members of this party? It is ACUD and group captain Oji. That is correct. So they are the people that have that people in contention. Uh, yeah, because they, oh, are oh, bona fide. Yeah, they are bona fide. Doctor, they are bona fide. Doctor, so yes. they are bona fide. Yeah. You need only one person. How are you going to resolve it? We are waiting for the National Reconciliation Central Committee, Committee, led by uh, Governor Abdullahi. Is uh, Adam. Adam. You see, we have gone beyond the time when people just stand up and use toggle to take over, seize over power, seize over party. These are facts. They are not fiction. That's why we are here today. We made our time to address the public. This same thing has occurred in many other states. But in Enugu State, we are too educated. We are too exposed. Okay? We are too informed to allow an interloper to step in and seize over our party. This is not 1998 or 2003 when people are just waking up into the civilian. Thank you very much because you did not say this is not Imo State. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we are, look, in, in Enugu State, you yeah, are looking at. There is equally that non state factor. Involved in our politics. I'm just thanking him. No, but I'm, 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 thank, you for, the, thank you for thank you for reminding us that is, yes, it is, is yes, it is probably good that because God has a way of working. You have mentioned this thing because we are trying to be nice with words, but there is what we call non-state actors in our own business. The business of APC and good state lies with the people who are doing that business in the state. But there are other people who are coming in here, not only to come and do business, but to tell us that this is how the business should be run in our own business. So there are no state factors who are it in it because somebody comes in, brings in somebody to come and become a state chairman because he wants it, but he never looked at what he's saying. How was the guy midwife? Because that's what we're saying. Even in pregnancy, there is a gestation period. 
he stays for nine months before coming out. So the mother goes into keep going for uh, antenatal. So you know about the life of the baby. You know he's growing. How many months? Um, how about today, your wife, you come home and there is a baby. You didn't see the pregnancy. You didn't see the pregnancy. Okay. That's a good point. <laughs> now I told you before. My <laughs> producer is telling me time is up. There must be an important demand you are making of the national level in this matter. Several people have filed several petitions in accordance with our party constitution. This means you have to go through all the, all the internal dispute resolution mechanisms. For example, the, the panel, the, uh, uh, what do you call them? It's, um, uh, Conflict resolution panel, panel kind of. Yes. That's the one so we're waiting for them. That yes, we're waiting for them to come to you. However, unfortunately, some others who are really, really aggrieved, who believe they have exhausted their remedy, they have been starting filing lawsuits. I've been sued multiple times because of this. I am not exposed to unnecessary <coughs> uh, uh, financial uh, and financial stress. Stress because the, the party is not giving me money. They are not providing uh, my own counsel for me. You may soon go to jail. Exactly <laughs> without bail. Without bail. Eh? So because I, I, I'm a chairman of APC and because somebody just jumped in, every other day somebody, some belief is calling me. Where are you? We want to serve you with a paper. Because they went through the appeal panel. And the appeal panel did nothing. They didn't sit in Enugu whatsoever. The man who was in the appeal panel, never one day, never one day, showed up and sat to hear the petition. They just show up and they gallivant somewhere in some hotel and they take off and go. So those people who believe that the appeal had never been heard, they have gone to court. So... Of course, it's a democratic process. But then, our rule does say you have to exhaust the oh, yeah, this yeah. So I'm appealing to all true members of the party who have any issue with the party to allow the party to resolve it. Not to rush to court. To go through all the internal dispute resolution mechanisms in place. Including the one that we are expecting to... They've written to me. Recently they wrote to me. They said they've seen the petitions and they are coming to Enugu and I'll be invited to provide my testimony. And God's willing, I'll be there. But my concern now is I have been exposed to numerous and countless litigation. Unfortunately, that's the weight of the crown. Don't worry. I mean, uh, also. Yes, uh, my own um, request, you know, is that uh, it's good that the party has seen that there's a lot of crisis, not only in Enugu state, but... That's a nationwide crisis that might consume this party if we don't look into it. And I think in their, in their good thinking, they have um, appointed a, or they have constituted what they call a National Reconciliation Committee to look into those grievances. I know that there's a tentative date for the National uh, Convention. I just don't know how this uh, uh, committee will be able to go around to listen to the complaints of our numerous uh, party uh, people because it's not only about us, it's all visually all over the state. But uh, in helping them out, there's something I found out and I think is what they are, uh, they are noting, is that sitting by my side is the chairman in Ubu State APC. And uh, even if they say that somebody removed him, which I don't, I don't have, the, I cannot pronounce that because I'm not, uh, Buni, Buni appointed him. It's only Buni will say that I have removed him. No, no, first, if we are saying that until Buni says, yes, I removed him until um, that day, because he who recruits has the equality of the power to fire. But even if at that, that we are discussing about the person who replaced him as an acting chairman, that is, uh, Gilbert, uh, uh Chikwado, the political though is not part of Ugochuku's uh, midwifing. So the Ben Wonye is not part of the process. Gilbert Chikwado, who they said replaced uh, Ben, is not part of the process. So between them, because what we are talking about is legitimacy of action, between these two people who says whether it is Ben that is legitimate to conduct this uh, midwife, this uh, process, or Gilbert Chikwado, they are not in the picture of how this money emerged. Yeah, how this money emerged. So for them, he should, that's what I keep saying. He is not a subject matter. He shouldn't be seen as a subject matter. He, everybody should understand what we all said. Follow the consensus arrangement of this party. 
consensus means where there is peace. We agree. But if, there's, no, there's no peace now. There is no peace because, like he said, in a house that has the, the, the Zukama and Neji, they speak in Igbo. The bigger you are, it's an implosion in this party. It gives me a good thing. Let me tell you, any party you come into, I know when we are forming PDP, I told the guy I was, uh, he's not a member of the Federal House of Reps. We said, anywhere we go to, and people receive us immediately and start giving us seats to sit down, we go away from there because nothing is happening. And then we said, anywhere we go to, and they start shouting, don't go. We are going to see them because that is where the action is. And that is how we form. So when we came to the first one at Philbond, hey, come in, come in, come in, we left. By the time we went to the other one, where there is one, immediately we came to the gate, they started locking the gate, we started fighting to get into the gate because we know. And that is the present PDP in Nugu State. So our party didn't have that kind of problem before. This time we were talking about, there was nobody. It is a party then that somebody in a family is the chairman, the wife is the secretary, the son is the youth leader. Damn, but today, because of what he said, people have uh, entered, we have a lot of membership now. So because of our large number, we now have an implosion in the party. Every person is now discussing interest. So that is why we are. So it is equally healthy in one way. It tells the other, the, the, the other party that we are up and doing it because that is why we could be able to quarrel amongst ourselves but now after that our quarrel comes what we are discussing now how do we make it work because we are interested in seizing power in this uh, 2023 election because we have every capacity every man every person that is person in any good state is in this apc now okay i'm gonna bridge him here yes. because my producer is Ben. thank you very much for coming thank you very much for having me also, Joe, thank you for coming to the conversation. Thank you. As I always tell you, this conversation never ends. It continues, and my name also never changes. It remains my boys and Joe. Good afternoon. Well, some say the 1920s into early 40s was Nigeria's era of knowledge, creative thought, and carving out of kingdoms of enlightenment. The era also marked the period of the struggle for a Nigerian identity. In the music sphere, one Nigerian made great stride in giving the emerging urban and cosmopolitan Nigerian population an entertainment identity of their own. That man, Bernard Olabinjo Benson, popularly known as Bobby Benson. Now, secondary school education was not available to many Nigerian families in those days. But while he was in secondary school in Lagos, Bobby Benson elected to learn tailoring. And when he left secondary school, he went into boxing. But the paid job that took him outside of the shores of Nigeria was as a sailor in the merchant navy. And while he sailed the English harbors and shores, he abandoned ship and embraced music. And there he met, he met his beautiful Scottish wife, Cassandra. With him, with her, he returned to Nigeria to begin an entertainment career that shaped Nigeria's music industry. From Bobby Benson's table emerged as ace musicians Roy Chicago, Z. Lonya, Victor Wifo, Edio Conta, Bayo Martins, and Sir Victor Wifo. And also from his works, many of them emerged what remains one of Nigeria's most popular and well replayed songs Taxi Driver. If you marry Taxi Driver, I don't care. If you marry Lorry Driver, if you marry railway driver, I don't care. If you marry motor driver, Plenty husbands is to 
many cares. If she marry taxi driver, I don't care. If she marry lorry driver, I don't care. If she marry railway driver, I don't care. If she marry motor driver, I don't care. Following the foundation that produced so many of Nigeria's music icons, we thank you this Sunday, Bobby Benson, the taxi driver. Well, that's our package for this Sunday. As the Christmas approaches, many young persons want to hammer. But please, if you want to hammer, let it be a product of your sweat and not a window. This is the subject of corruption theory for today, which follows immediately after. Please stay with us. For now, let me wish you a pleasant Sunday. My name remains Mwabuz Njoko. Good afternoon. My people, make I welcome on a, to another Sunday afternoon. Another day where we go chuk I put for matter we consign corruption for our country, Nigeria. Now, time for corruption to read. The program where many Nigerians, whether for east or west or north or even south, they wait for every Sunday. My name is Marvelous Obama. On a welcome. Home. You see, this Sunday, my belay they sweet me well well. My belay they sweet because country people, I mean original country people, they teach all those big, big men where they carry government money, take they do anyhow. And when you catch them, they go say, now nah, devil push them, or country hard, so them go do every, every to get money to shake body. Now lie yo, country hard no means say man go do anyhow. If you want hammer, you must work for your money. To hammer on top another person's money, na big thief you be. This Sunday, we go bring you to read of a woman with their own restaurant and bar. Where not in day inside self. He get customer away, come patronize her, come leave money for her bar. Although the family no get better food to eat, they no get money. She kukuma keep the money until the owner come ask for her. She say, if she go hammer, it no go be on top another person's sweat or money or another person's property. I beg, wait small. Will they come back now? Now, this a corruption theory. For the shanty houses for New Karu in Nasarawa State, every morning, Madam Modesta of Fobike go wake up, and where should they go? Now for Monday market, a market where plenty business no day, to go see what God go do for her that day. If you want no say things hard, make you look into Madam Modesta shop. The day where market move well, well, some customers feel come with friends to eat and drink. But for some days, now I thank God she they take go house. Believing that tomorrow it go better. Hmm. One day, it be like say God don't butter her bread and sugar her tea on top. All they pray away, poor man they pray. 
It be like saying, now that day God won't show him, say, in be God, where they answer prayer for poor man life. Hallelujah. That day, after market, they begin to close. Now one woman where they sell market for the same new caro market and him husband, Waka enter Madame Modesta of Fobike Bar and Restaurant. Come here waiting happen. Now the woman herself tell corruption to read the story. This is my business money. <laughs> Left my shop and put your mouth on one inside the shop and then pause. Then when I came out, uh, asked her about the shop, about the body. Then she started telling me that uh, yes, that she paid me. That was mostly 60,000 naira. As the woman forget the money, Madam Modesta of Fobike carry the purse open up. Come see, say, waiting she they find for Sokoto. Don't come enter the pocket of her trouser. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was the media So even for that so the story of waiting this woman do scatter for the whole market. Some people think say blind man will no pick up the snake way in leg touch no go chop meat. <laughs> but they tell you na lie. Many people will savvy Madame Modesta of Fobike say she no fit take another person thing come say na her own be that. Oh, Madam Modesta, a good woman for this place where we know. For the years we are don't stay here, they sell. The good thing way they do, we are even like, if I see those my engine, where the ground is my visit, if I leave her as I forget, go. Uh, tomorrow if I come, if they might take the wait for me. She's a nice woman. No? Mm, everybody know her here. Hey, my sister. For this season, now good thing he do. The day we do, he do that. If you see how this market gather with the happy and they pray for him for the good thing where he do. Mm. She's a nice woman. Let me know that we here together, eating and eating together. We are going to be like sisters. And I know her quite well. She's not. She's not from me. We can imagine. She's a very really nice woman. Some customer just sat there and took drink. They left their their purse and the money there. And she picked it and gave them. No matter how the hardship is, it cannot make me to thief. For her children, Madame Modesta of Obike, don't they live life where they good and straight, even when things they one kind for she and her family. She will do something for us. Anything we may get, she will, she will buy for us. Even though food no day, she will find out the, where she will get food so that she will give us. I will tell her, say, my mother call me this morning. She said she will return and back for them. On November 18th, 2021, when corruption to redo, talk your own, make I talk my own. Where them they call town hall for English. Madame Modesta of Fobike was honored because of the way she no like joint body for anything where consign corruption. So Fobike is a poster woman for our anti-corruption fight. Just like our friend from Kaduna, some people came to jollificate in her restaurant. After jollificating, they were so happy that they forgot all their money in the place. And went hmm. How much did they forget in your restaurant? 60,000 60, Naira. And if you have been to Modesta's restaurant, you will know that she needs that money to uplift her restaurant. But she said no. I started looking for those people. And returned that money intact. Yes, 60,000 is not 1 million. But if you steal 60,000, you can steal 1 billion. So in 
We are presenting this to you, Modesta Opobike, in recognition of your anti-corruption efforts. And we are doing this on behalf of Mark Arthur Foundation, our supporters, Signature Television, and our program, Corruption to Re. <laughs> May everybody begin to do good to so that corruption will die for this nation. This a corruption theory. My people, you see, when person tell you say indoor hammer, I beg, make you shine your eye well, well. Look them. Sometimes, hmm, people go take another person money, take hammer, and when you ask them, then go say. Country man, they suffer, and anyhow it take be, man must make them. Make I tell you, that one now confirm lie you. You don't see, say, Madam Modesta or Fabrique don't teach us, say, good name, better pass, I don't hammer anyhow. And make I add my own voice, John. To run away from the team makes sense. To hammer with another person money, you know they good. I beg, run away from it, so they. Your leg go to reach your head. Make I thank you, say you stand out with us today. Make we jam again next Sunday. My name, Namavelos Obomano. Una baba yo.